the entire of this keeps it is done. We don't have a functional revival. We buy ambulances to take people to Nairobi and Alorex. My humble request, even as we work hard as counties, to have medicine in our hospitals within these five years, please build for us a major referral hospital. Now, Bill, Your Excellency, we have coffee, we have milk, and we have tea in Kericho. It's unfortunate that so many years after independence, we are still auctioning our tea at Mombasa. My request, Your Excellency, is that we have a tea auction right here in Kericho to market our tea. We have capacity, and I know God will help us. Thirdly, Senator Shiruya has mentioned very important need of actually opening up Kericho Town. Businesses have come down here, people are closing businesses, and Kericho is no longer the town that it used to be. Your Excellency, we have two multinationals. One called Unilever, now Ekaterra. The other one called Chemist Finlay. We want investors in Kericho. And as the governor of Kericho, I will say this because the product of these hustlers. The investors in those two companies are arrogant and they can't listen to us. The estate used to employ 50,000 people. They sat them and never explained to us why. And that is why there is no business in town here. In terms of rates, the revenue rates, they are paying the county of the region for 264 shillings, which translates to small money. In fact, we receive more revenue from the sick and the dead in the hospital than from the unit here. They have asked me so many times that we can up with Tisha Ivy to the Hama to the Rwanda. Of what use is the TST if you cannot benefit the people? They cannot plan, they cannot play the rates. By what is, we are forming a task force every week. And as a job, we want to be talking about what we're going to do and who regards it, we are going to apply. We form a task force to find out how we are going to negotiate and get a lasting solution. But my reward today as the governor of Kericho, this case the product may last long enough, it is not about how, whether they are going to remove the machines or not. The question is, when are they refused? <laughs> this is no compromise, and there's no negotiations, and there's no other demands. They must remove those machines.